some tools in Adobe CS6 have changed, and one of those is the crop tool. So I'd like to show resizing this image um, both using the image size dialog box and using the crop tool. I'll start with the image size dialog box. So I'm going to choose image, image size, and we'll see that the image was um, set up originally as 1100 pixels wide by 1217 pixels tall. By default, when you open this dialog box, you will have proportions constrained. That means that my width and height are linked together so that if I change one, the other changes in accordance. That way I don't end up with a, a scaled or skewed or distorted image when I modify one dimension. Um, I also see here that resample image is checked. That's good. That's what I want in this case. If I did not want to resize my pixel dimensions, I would uncheck resample image. That would enable me to safely modify the resolution, but my resolution is already set at web resolution, 72 dpi. So I'm going to keep resample image checked, I will keep constrained proportions checked, and then I will simply modify my width to 960 pixels. Notice that when I do that, my height um, is also already modified because my width and height are linked. When I press OK, I will see that my image is, shrinks just a tiny bit because now it has changed to 960 pixels wide. Now I'll choose undo, edit undo, to kind of take a step backwards here. And I'm going to accomplish the same thing now with the crop tool. So just as a point of reference, I still, uh, because I just did edit undo, I'm at 1100 pixels wide. So I'll choose the crop tool. And notice in CS6, the crop tool um, automatically gives you kind of anchor points going around your document. So instead of clicking and dragging to draw a crop, you would just um, pull or push these anchors to modify the crop box. Now in our case, we actually don't want to crop anything out. We want to use the whole size of the document. We just want to modify it so that it's 900 pixels wide. So I'm just going to type 960, I'm sorry, 960 pixels wide. So I'm just going to take, type 960 pixels into that first dialog box, the width, uh, the width area. Um, and then I'll notice that my, um, my whole document sort of shrinks a little bit, just like it did when I changed it using image size. Um, and then I'll press the check mark to confirm my crop. So using the crop tool, I just achieved the same thing that I did using image size. And we'll double check by using um, image to image size, and we'll just take a look that indeed we have 960 by 1062 pixels. You can work in whatever way is comfortable for you. I just think it's, it's nice for people to see different options. So the cropping tool or the image size dialog box, um, both of those will get you a, um, an image that's smaller and that's on spec. In this case, we want it to have it be 960 pixels wide.